A leading banker has been named in Parliament as one of the former Royal Bank of Scotland managers responsible for the unit which was found to have treated its business customers unfairly. The Liberal Democrat leader, Sir Vince Cable, used parliamentary privilege to reveal that the chief executive of Santander UK, Nathan Bostock, was identified in a report as being one of those in charge of RBS's global restructuring group. GRG, as it's known, has been accused of taking apart firms part of a coordinated strategy. Here's our economics correspondent, Andy Verity. Between 2008 and 2013, Royal Bank of Scotland put 16,000 business customers into its global restructuring group, telling them it was there to help turn their fortunes around. However, an internal inquiry for the Financial Conduct Authority found in 2016 that the bank had instead systematically put its interests ahead of its customers. It cited, for example, an internal memo of tips for dealing with business customers with language such as rope. Sometimes you need to let customers hang themselves. After the report was leaked to the BBC last summer, the FCA's chief executive, Andrew Bailey, refused MPs' demands to publish it in full, instead opting for a summary which omitted key phrases and names. Today, in a backbench debate on GRG, the Liberal Democrat leader, Vince Cable, said the full report included an incriminating phrase. Management knew or should have known that this was an intended and coordinated strategy and that the mistreatment of business customers was a result of that, and that the head of GRG responsible for that policy, Mr Nathan Bostock, is now chief executive of Santander. The BBC sought comments from Mr Bostock, but Santander declined to comment. MPs attacked GRG for treatment which had resulted in customers losing not just their businesses, but often their homes, their marriages or their health, led by the Labour MP Clive Lewis. The cost of this is immeasurable, but we believe it to be in the tens of billions. So let's be clear here. This is the potential size of the injustice that has taken place in our country. If it is this big, it may be the largest theft anywhere, ever. MPs in the all-party parliamentary group on fair business banking now want a new system of tribunals to allow better access to justice for small business owners for whom suing the bank is either impractical or unaffordable.